Hi, I'm Natasha. I live in Panama and uh, my channel is Panama Live Good on a Farm. Uh, and today I wanted to share what I harvested this morning uh, off my farm because uh, I grow my own food. And actually uh, my helper um, had harvested it and left it on my patio in a, in a nice basket. So I was really excited uh, when I saw it. Um, I usually harvest my, my greens. Um, sometimes the fruit are on the tree too high. So uh, usually he'll, he'll get those. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, welcome. And uh, basically, I talk about everything, my life in Panama on my farm and uh, living um, self-sufficient as much as I can and practicing permaculture um, practices to grow my own food and uh, to stay healthy um, by eating uh, what Mother Nature gave us. So, um, so this is actually what the basket of fruit uh, that he brought in, and um, it includes uh, some exotic fruit. And I'll share with you um, some of the, the the ones that are very interesting, like this, the cherimoya, which is also called the custard apple. Um, this is also known as one of the most delicious fruits uh, known to man. And I actually did a video on this. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. But uh, powerhouse of uh, vitamins and minerals. Um, I've also have some mangosteen, which is a exotic fruit, uh, grows in the tropics, um, uh, tons of, tons of, uh, benefits. Um, most of these are going to be antioxidant, anti, um, inflammatory, um, but you know, they taste really good. <laughs> um, if you, um, if you're, not able to get these. Um, I also have some suggestions, which I will mention um, by the end of the video. Um, he also brought some mandarin. These are huge. And um, this one's not quite ready, but my mandarin that grows here are larger than what I would have in the States. Um, I also have, let's see, a papaya. Um, the papaya tree grows really quick. Um, papaya is a great fruit for any type of, um, heart problems, uh, diabetes, um, digestion. It's just a great fruit and it grows quick if you're, you know, an environment that, that can grow it. Um, it also improves your blood pressure and your blood sugar. And I can eat a whole one of these. <laughs> um, some people say that, you know, even if it's, even if it's, uh, sugar from, um, um, fruit, uh, you know, it could be too much sugar. But I say, if you're not eating packaged foods, if you're not drinking soda, if you're not, you know, um, eating the white sugar, the white carbs, and you're actually eating one of these, you know, or um, they're natural sugars. So um, I still think that is better than anything artificial. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, this is an interesting fruit too. Uh, this is a guava. Um, guava is a small little fruit that uh, has a ton of vitamin C and A. Um, it actually is considered a superfruit, and it actually has four times more vitamin C than um, than a um, orange. It also has more potassium than a banana, and more fiber than a pineapple. So this little fruit does quite a bit. Um, let's see what else we have. He brought me some beans. I think I'll, we'll use these in probably my salads. Uh, some cute little mandarins. <laughs> and, um, oh, this is a fruit that I don't know what it is. <laughs> so if anyone watching this video knows what this is, if you can comment below and let me know. Um, it, it might be just that it's not ripe yet, but it kind of feels like a leather feel. I did cut one open and it was um, um, very sour, uh, but I don't know what this one is. Um, and still I've got more oranges and more mangosteen. He brought like 
four or five of these mangosteen. So I will be eating these this morning for my breakfast. Not all of them, of course, but uh, I like to um, uh, eat um, everything for, that I grow. Um, also the plantains. Uh, the plantains. <laughs> um, so the plantains are also excellent for a lot of vitamins, lots of potassium. Um, here we make patacones, which are great. They kind of use a little bit of olive oil and they do fry it, but it's a little bit of olive oil. So good. Um, so those are some of the things we've harvested uh, this morning that, uh, I'm going to eat. And, uh, if you have interest in learning more about organic farming, growing exotic fruits, growing, um, just growing your food, um, subscribe and um, comment below. Um, and if you aren't growing foods like this and you want to eat healthier, there's some, there's some um, different ways that you can eat healthier uh, that is not expensive, um, including uh, using supplements that aren't expensive. And I, I'm also leave the link for that below as well. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day.